Man, it's like spring showed up all at once. Good morning, Katanning. Got a busy Saturday ahead of us. Uh, gonna get a, hopefully a lot of garden work done uh, this morning and uh, this afternoon. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna take you along for the ride with me. Starting the day at Tractor Supply. Need a couple things before we begin. Some trees. You're gonna take that one? That might be a little big for you. Why don't you take this one? Yeah. That's not good for you. You ready? Let's go. Got my buddy Tyler here with me too. Hi. You ready? Yep. Alright. Thanks for coming today, by the way. Every job's easier with more people. It's good to have good friends like Tyler coming out and help me. Got a couple more reinforcements coming, hopefully, and we'll knock this thing out in no time. Okay, so this is what we're doing today. I got my trees. We're gonna get all these planted. Uh, Seckle, that's a pear, Santa Rosa plums, honey crisp apple. So we got 14 trees here to plant. We're gonna get them all in the ground today. And uh, I got all my spots marked and we're gonna get this thing going. All right, so a little tree planting tutorial. First we take the broad fork, we get the big hole going. You could use a shovel, but I think the broad fork's a little easier. And then, we're digging the hole out a little bit deeper, uh, just to make room for the roots, and then we loosen the edges so the roots can uh, have somewhere to go. Okay, then we fill the hole back up. You can see on just about every fruit tree, they're all grafted in, so um, you wanna keep that graft just an inch or two above the ground. Uh, you don't want that to ever uh, be below the ground, always wet. So keep that above the ground. Okay, and then you pile up the grass. I turn the grass upside down so the grass will kind of compost underneath and provide a little more nutrients to the tree uh, over time. And that's uh, that's really it. Very clever. We'll get some we'll get some mulch later, and then uh, cover all these with a little bit of mulch, and we'll be done with the trees. All right, we got 11 down, just three to go. So we got the load of wood chips here and we're just uh, putting some mulch on all the trees now. I'm just getting mulch around and help hold in moisture and then over time that'll break down and be next year's compost for the trees. So, And I'm glad I got Tyler here to do all the work. Loaded it up, now he's unloading it for me. He's just killing it. Great job, Tyler. Well, that many wood chips only did seven trees, so we need a whole nother load. Hopefully that's enough. And that's the finished product here. Just some uh, loose dirt, water, and uh, and some mulch. That's it. It's easy enough. So I've come to the conclusion, you know, trees are like children. You know, you want to give them what they need, uh, but you don't want to baby them. Uh, the fact is, if you put too much uh, fertilizer, uh, do all those kinds of things to try to give your trees a boost, They'll just stay where that fertilizer, wherever you put that fertilizer. And so the roots will never go out. It's just like kids, man. It's just like kids. You gotta challenge them, you gotta let them go through the hard thing so that those roots will grow strong. And then, uh, yeah, you can strengthen them. But if you give them too much, you baby them too much, you'll make them weaker in the long run. Okay, so this is all the garden stuff we're planting today. I like to put them uh, at least a few hours before you're going to plant, uh, get them in there and start soaking the seeds. 
that just to give them a little bit of a head start. Okay, so we're gonna plant all that stuff in this row here, and then I'm gonna use my second planter box over here, and we're gonna plant in there. And uh, yeah, super excited to finally get it started this year. Huge thank you to Tyler for coming and helping me and for Jim and Tina. Uh, Jim and Tina are from our church and uh, they've been really great. Uh, Tyler, he has his own little YouTube page here uh, that he does some different videos about catanning and gardening. And so, um, so yeah, go find uh, Mr. Tyler. He's Tyler with a vlog. You can go find his channel and, and see what he's up to today. Well, we got everything in I wanted to. We got everything watered. Uh, next will be potatoes. Hopefully in the next uh, next week or so, we'll see as I have time. It's going to take me some time to recover from today. It's amazing how, uh, like, that would have been no problem for me at the end of last year, but you got kind of that winter and spring of laziness, and you haven't used those muscles, and man, I'm going to be sore tomorrow, but uh, that's okay. I'm happy to have the garden started. I'm happy spring is finally here. Praise the Lord. Yeah, I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.